Hello everybody, this is Chris from Acoustic Audio and today I have the honor to introduce you to Aero, our new generation artificial intelligence guitar processor. It is so awesome, I actually couldn't stop playing it and ended up breaking my arm. So let's dive into it and uh, get ready to make your guitars scream. Dialing in the perfect guitar tone is no easy feat. Many engineers layer multiple microphones to create a massive sound and going crazy with equalization in the pursuit of awesomeness. That's why mixing guitars can feel hard sometimes. So forget the virtual guitar sound you're used to and fall in love with Aero, our first Aqua plugin entirely built around guitarists and based on Terra, our brand new artificial intelligence engine. This guy is capable of faithfully reproducing the sound of your favorite stomp boxes and amps from all around the world. At the moment, you have two volumes available. Volume A is all about America and Volume B, we're dealing with Europe and UK. The rest of the world is coming soon. So, how do I get to use this guy? First, I open Aquarius and look for Aero in the purchase page. In order to use it, you first need to install the player which includes Aero Amp and Aero Stomp. So select the correct format and then click download. This version already includes a selection of amps and stomp boxes. In case you've purchased one of the additional volumes to get more amps and more stomp boxes, you can proceed to install them just like you did with the player. At this point, you can open your DAW and look for the plugin. Now you should plug in your guitar and connect the sound card to your computer, so you can start creating your sound by playing a little bit. Any volume of Aero is made up of two plugins, Aero Amp and Aero Stomp. The first one is for amps, heads and cabs simulation, while the second one is for stomp boxes. Now let's take a look at Aero Amp first. Up here on the left, you can select your head, while down here, always on the left, you can select your cab. This control over here, called Trim, is just like the gain of an amp, and it works along with the other one over here on the right, called Output, so that you can compensate your volume in case you put too much gain, which is never a problem, I guess. Down here, in the middle, you have three knobs. The one on the left, called X, controls the distance of the mic from the cab. The one here, in the middle, applies a linearization, so when it's all on the left, you get the actual speaker, while if it's all on the right, you get it linearized. Finally, the knob on the right, called Y, controls the mic's position from the center to the edge of the speaker. Now, what if you want to play directly in the plugin, like real time? Well, you first put it in zero latency mode, like so, and then you select the low quality, which improves performance. You can use high quality when you want to re-listen to something you recorded. Now let's dive into Aero Stomp. It is very similar to Aero Amp. You have the effects menu up here on the left, where you can select your stomp models. Down below, you have the EQ section. You can select the EQ model over here, while with the three knobs, you can regulate mid, low, and high frequencies. The guitar world will never be the same with Aero. And that's all for today. Up to next time, peace. Yeah.